Hi friends, welcome to LGF. This is Antosh Kumar. It's been a long time for the people who are waiting for the control system, right? I'm very happy to say that today we are going to start the control system. So before coming to the introduction part, I would like to thank Mr. Sohel. He has given me this wonderful opportunity to meet with you people. Thank you Sohel Bhai. I will try my best to deliver standard quality material to our students. Let's start now. Friends, this entire video lecture series is strictly based on the GATE syllabus only. Here I'll provide the GATE material. If you are the college going students, so this is not exactly for you. If you are preparing for the GATE, then it's very helpful for you. Then it's exactly for you. Right? So, the video lecture will be covered the control system for these three branches, Tavali, EC and instrumentation. Right? I'll provide you the standard quality material based on coaching classes notes, standard coaching classes notes, as well as some standard books also. Okay. Now, these three questions are very crucial. Okay. The first question is why control system is important? Friends, as you people know, if you are appearing from uh, EE, ECO or instrumentation, you people have approximately 9 to 10 subjects. Okay, out of this 9 to 10 subjects, you have one subject control system. Now, the point is why control system is important. Friends, the control system is scoring and very easy subject. Okay, that's why this one is very important for GATE I'm talking about. Okay, now the second question is, what is the weightage of control system in the gate? Friends, if you will observe previous year gate papers for all these three branches from 1992 to 2017, you will find out that nearly 10 to 11 marks, this is the average I am talking about for all these three branches, nearly 10 to 11 marks we are having from control system only. So if you have 10 to 11 marks, so can I say the subject is scoring subject yes out of 100 you have 10 to 11 allotted for control system only now why the subject is easy friends out of 10 to 11 marks it's very easy to get 9 to 10 marks if you have thorough knowledge of the control system so if you are getting out of uh, if you are getting 9 to 10 out of 10 to 11 so can i say the subject is easy subject so, if you people are really planning for AIR under 50, you have to be thorough knowledge with control system. Is it okay? Now, the third question, very important one is how LGF will cover it? Friends, as I told you, the LGF video lecture series is strictly based on the GATE syllabus only. Here, I'll provide you quality material. Is it okay? And my base point will be previous year gate papers. Okay. If you people know about me in my profile, I mentioned that I was preparing for gate uh, test papers for the AS Academy, gate forum and the super prof. So I have a knowledge of how to prepare the question, how the question will come in the examination. So this control system, 40% part will be theory and 60% I'll deal with the questions only, problems only. I'll tell you where students will make mistake in the problem, how they can frame the questions. Is it okay? So this will be my objective to provide you the control system. Is it okay? Now, if you'll ask about the books, okay? So you can prefer the book Linear Control System by B.S. Manke. This book is very, you know, easy to understand, very standard book and uh, good for the get studies okay if you are not satisfied with one book so you can prefer control system engineering by ij nagrath and m gopal is it okay now if you are not satisfied then you can prefer the third one that is control system engineering by s nice so as i told you that we are strictly based on the get syllabus so, the next one will be GATE previous year papers. These are very crucial. So, I'll cover the questions from previous year GATE papers for these three branches. Okay. 
now let's come to the content friends in the first unit in the next video lecture we'll start with the transfer function then we'll cover the block diagram and signal flow diagram we'll cover the basic of controls also okay now in the second unit we'll deal with the time domain analysis then we'll come to the stability analysis in which we'll discuss the rf criteria and root locus also okay then in the fourth unit we'll deal with the frequency domain analysis in which we'll see the polar plot nike's plot and bode plot is it okay now in the fifth unit we'll deal with the industrial controllers and compensators this particular unit is very important for the is people also and in the last unit we'll deal with the state space analysis so in the next lecture we'll start with the introduction of the transfer function we'll see the block diagram and i'll take some gate problems also okay friends so for new updates you can subscribe lgf and for the doubt solving you can find us on the facebook we'll meet in the next video lecture till then take care and bye